solubility in water. Not all ionic compounds dissolve in water, so we have to use the solubility rules to understand whether or not it actually happens. So NaCl, you look at the anion, which would be Cl. I find my rules for chlorides. It says all chlorides are soluble, so all chlorides are going to dissolve and become aqueous except if it's with silver, lead, or mercury. Well, Na is neither silver, lead, nor mercury. So this is going to remain aqueous. Potassium phosphate. So I'm looking at my rules for phosphates. All phosphates except group one. So all phosphates would be insoluble, remaining as a solid, unless it's with group one. And since we are with group one, this is now aqueous lead chloride lead chloride so I'm looking at my rules for chlorides and it says except lead so it's no longer soluble but insoluble barium hydroxide so I find my rules on hydroxides it says all hydroxides are going to be solids except group 1 strontium and barium so it's no longer insoluble but soluble so it's aqueous calcium sulfide. All sulfides are going to remain solid except with group 2. Since calcium's in group 2, this is now aqueous. Sodium sulfate. All sulfates are aqueous except calcium, strontium, barium, mercury, lead 2, or silver. Na is not with any of them, so this is going to remain aqueous.